My name is Johan Marais. I work for Saving the Survivors and we cover basically Southern Africa. We work on survivors of all in endangered species. I think the aim that I wanted to achieve this morning was to show people the real problem that we have currently because I, I, I do a fair amount of these talks and I, I still see from even people living inside South Africa that, that they don't realize the massive impact and the problem we have currently facing our in, endangered wildlife. Not only in this country but you know everywhere in Africa. And then my second goal was to, you know, to provide people with hope. We can all do something. Um, even if it's just raising awareness wherever you go, uh, you know, talking to people, getting funding. But, but there's definitely hope. The moment we lose hope, we have a problem. Um, and I think that was my second aim, is to provide, you know, this youth with, with a story of hope. We used to have a rhino, world, um, world known rhino, you know, called hope. And I always go, this is the story of hope. Because of her, you know, she, she could have actually faced all these, um, you know, poachers and lived through it. And that should give all of us hope that we continue in the fight against wildlife crime. There's no help coming from anywhere else. We have to deal with these issues. And it's present now. So there's hope. We must all stand together and provide solutions. There's not only going to be one solution, but there are a couple of, of solutions that we can all provide. But underscoring that is to work together to actually make this work and to, and to decrease or stop wildlife trafficking and to protect this global, global heritage that we have in Africa.